When I say see past the petty political division, I don't mean withdraw and dismiss it all and suck them or whatever the fuck they're saying. I'm saying uh, distill the true essence from the appearance. Don't get, don't let, for example, don't be caught up in the false appearance of the division. Don't get involved in this kind of stuff where I'm on the side of the, uh, the liberals. You know, you have to have a higher sense where you're able to see sometimes the liberals are really wrong. <laughs> in a sense yeah or foolish and you can joke and be cynical and stuff and then uh, sometimes uh, conservatives uh, well they're objectively wrong in their position but you can learn from maybe what they're saying rarely but you know what i mean like you don't have to be so one-sided and so like uh, for example i'll give you a good example of what i think about this when ginsburg died I saw one of two responses by leftists, universally. One was they're crying, the other one was that they were laughing. They're both perverted, you know? They're laughing because, uh, oh, they're still in their diaper uh, rebellion against the Democrats. Listen, was anyone else just like me who just didn't give a shit and didn't even think anything of it, wasn't emotionally attached at all, and just was like, oh, yeah, she died. Because that was literally my reaction when I saw it. And then that's what I mean by not being so caught up in the fucking bullshit. And if you have a global perspective, you're going to be able to understand that the political division that exists in America does not reflect the realities of real politics. Real politics is not manifested at this site here. Real politics is something you need to be able to see with infrared vision. And having an international perspective allows you to see that. Having an international or a global perspective allows you to distill the bullshit from the chit chat. And 99% of what's going on in America, I don't care what who they are, they're leftists or they're rightists, it's chit chat, right? It's just chit chat. If you have a more global perspective, you're able to you're able to be indifferent. You're able to see this as a false division. And a lot of shit is just a kind of false uh, division in America. Uh, division over nothing. Now, there is a real objective division, of course, the class struggle and so on and so on, but it's not always, uh, it's not reducible to the explicit terms of its articulation between Democrats and Republicans. In, look, you go to any community, you show me a conservative, I'll flip you a liberal. The same family members, the same, it's just a matter of your personality. <laughs> what kind of like uh, type of person you are. It's not some... You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not a, the, the real fundamental division. You need to have this kind of populistic sense. Mao understood the distinction between primary and secondary contradictions.